Like it or hate it, it has plenty of people talking. Today, much like I did for Predator, I will run down 10 facts and easter eggs surrounding Alien Covenant, which you may know or may not know. Number 10. This movie contains a scene where a toy bird drinking water, aptly named a drinky bird, is visible. This is a throwback to the opening scene of Alien where there is such a toy bird being shown on board the Nostromo's bridge. Number 9. In Alien Covenant, this is the second time an alien's point of view is shown, the first being in Alien 3. However, in this film, we actually get to see the alien's visual spectrum. Number 8. The terrace surrounded by cypress trees where David looks upon the engineer's city was inspired by the series of paintings depicting the Isle of the Dead by 19th century artist Arnold Bocklin. This was also a nod to Alien creator H.R. Giger who had crafted his interpretation of the same paintings in his trademark biomechanical style as a tribute to fellow Swiss Bocklin. Number 7. When David is discussing the alien with the captain, he says it is the perfect organism. Much the same as Ash's head said in the original Alien. Number 6. When David says to Daniels, that's the spirit, this is a direct reference to Rutger Hauer's line in Blade Runner, which is coincidentally another Ridley Scott film. Number 5. At one point, Daniels says, I've got you, you son of a bitch. Ellen Ripley, Sigourney Weaver's character, uses the exact same phrase at the end of the original Alien. Number 4. When Tennessee gains stable control of the lander, he says over the comms, a walk in the park. Just like Parker said after setting down the Nostromo lander during the storm in the original Alien. Number 3. The subject of the poem Ozymandias is the ruins of Ramesses II. Director Ridley Scott depicted the biblical account of Ramesses and the plagues of Egypt in his film Exodus Gods and Kings. Not only that, a bonus number three additional easter egg, the reference of Ozymandias is also in a previous film of Crudup's. Crudup played Dr. Manhattan in Watchmen, where Ozymandias is the name of one of the main characters. Number two. During his confrontation with Walter, David asks him if he'd rather serve in heaven or reign in hell. The line refers to John Milton's poem Paradise Lost, where Lucifer claims it is better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. This fits with David's ultimate desire to no longer be subservient to mankind. In addition, Paradise Lost was also the original subtitle for this film, before of course Covenant was chosen. And number one. This was the very first Alien film to be released after the death of H.R. Giger. Giger inadvertently designed the original Alien looks and environments in his Necronomicon book, which led to Ridley Scott hiring him as the art director for the film and obviously the franchise. Giger essentially gave birth to the entire Alien look that we all know and love today. A very fitting number one. Were any of these things new to you? Did you know all 10 easter eggs? Let me know down below in the comment section and if you did enjoy this video then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more in the future. I've been Mr H and until next time I'll catch you in the comment section.